Welcome to your daily dose of defense and geopolitics. Today, we delve into a simmering controversy, the proposed East Coast Missile Defense Site. The plan has ignited debate, raising questions about national security strategy, geopolitical considerations, and the potential impact on local communities. Join us as we dissect this complex issue and explore the perspectives of experts and policymakers. The Department of Defense argues that evolving threats necessitate a layered defense system. They point to the growing missile capabilities of nations like North Korea and Iran. The proposed site, intended to intercept ballistic missiles targeting the eastern United States, would augment existing systems in Alaska and California. However, critics argue that the system is unnecessary, provocative, and potentially destabilizing. The White House has maintained a firm stance on bolstering national defense. Proponents of the East Coast Missile Defense Site echo this sentiment. They cite a volatile global landscape and the imperative to protect American citizens and infrastructure from potential threats. The United States faces an increasingly complex and dangerous world, stated Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin in a recent press briefing. We must be prepared to defend ourselves against any and all threats, including those posed by ballistic missiles. The East Coast Missile Defense Site is a critical component of our layered defense strategy. This echoes the administration's commitment to maintaining a position of strength on the world stage. Despite the administration's assertions, the proposed missile defense site has drawn sharp criticism from various corners. Opponents, including arms control advocates and some defense analysts, argue that the system is not only ineffective but could escalate tensions with Russia and China. This is a dangerous and misguided scheme, argues Dr. Laura Grego, a missile defense expert at the Union of Concerned Scientists. The system is designed to counter a limited threat from North Korea, but it could easily be perceived as a threat by Russia or China, leading to a dangerous arms race. These concerns highlight the potential for miscalculation and unintended consequences in an already tense geopolitical environment. Beyond the broader strategic debate, the proposed missile defense site has also sparked local concerns. Residents near potential locations worry about the environmental impact, potential health risks, and the militarization of their communities. We understand the need for national security, but we also deserve to live in safe and healthy communities, says Sarah Jenkins, a resident of one of the proposed site locations. The potential risks associated with a missile defense site are simply too great for our community to bear. These concerns underscore the importance of carefully considering the local impacts of national security decisions. As the debate rages on, the future of the East Coast missile defense site remains uncertain. The Biden administration faces a complex calculus, weighing national security imperatives against budgetary constraints, geopolitical considerations, and the concerns of local communities. The decision will likely have far-reaching implications, shaping the future of U.S. missile defense policy and potentially influencing the strategic balance with other global powers. One thing is certain, the debate over missile defense is far from over, and its outcome will have profound implications for America's security posture in the 21st century. While the future of the East Coast Missile Defense Site remains in the balance, other advancements in defense technology are forging ahead. Leonardo, a global high-tech company, has recently secured a significant contract to supply laser systems for U.S. military aircraft. This contract, valued at millions of dollars, aims to enhance the defensive capabilities of the aircraft against a variety of threats. The laser systems are designed with state-of-the-art precision targeting and high-energy output, ensuring the safety and effectiveness of military operations. This move underscores a broader strategy to modernize the U.S. military's defense systems, maintaining technological superiority in an increasingly complex global landscape. As the U.S. continues to invest in cutting-edge technologies, the interplay between traditional missile defense systems and emerging innovations like laser weaponry will shape the future of national security. 
The integration of these advanced systems represents a significant step forward in ensuring the defense capabilities of the nation, even as debates over missile defense policy continue. In the end, the balance between traditional and modern defense strategies will be crucial in addressing the multifaceted threats of the 21st century, making it clear that the evolution of defense technology is an ongoing and dynamic process. The contract with Leonardo includes the development, testing, and integration of the laser systems on various U.S. military aircraft. The systems will undergo rigorous testing to ensure they meet the high standards required for military use. This contract is expected to have significant implications for the future of military aviation, potentially leading to further advancements in laser technology and its applications. The successful implementation of these systems could pave the way for more widespread adoption of laser-based defense mechanisms in the military. As these technologies advance, they promise to not only enhance the defensive capabilities of military aircraft, but also revolutionize the broader landscape of military operations. The implications of this contract extend beyond immediate defense needs potentially influencing future strategic frameworks and defense policies. The ongoing evolution of military technology, marked by the integration of high-energy laser systems, underscores the importance of innovation in maintaining national security in a rapidly changing world. As the U.S. continues to push the boundaries of defense technology, the lessons learned from these advancements will likely shape the future of military engagements and defense strategies, ensuring that the nation remains prepared to face emerging threats with cutting-edge solutions. MBDA and Rheinmetall have announced a new collaboration to equip the Skyranger 30 turret with a small anti-drone missile. This new system aims to enhance the turret's capabilities in countering drone threats. The Skyranger 30 turret, known for its advanced targeting and tracking systems, will now be even more formidable with the addition of this missile. The collaboration between MBDA and Rheinmetall signifies a significant step forward in defense technology, addressing the growing concern of drone threats in modern warfare. As drones become increasingly prevalent on the battlefield, the need for effective countermeasures has never been more critical. The integration of this new missile system into the Sky Ranger 30 turret represents a proactive approach to evolving defense strategies. By leveraging the strengths of both companies, this collaboration not only enhances the capabilities of existing defense systems, but also sets a precedent for future innovations in counter-drone technology. As we look to the future, the ongoing development of such advanced defense mechanisms will be crucial in maintaining a strategic edge and ensuring the safety of military operations worldwide. The partnership between MBDA and Rheinmetall serves as a reminder of the importance of continuous innovation and collaboration in the ever-changing landscape of modern warfare. With these advancements, the defense industry moves one step closer to creating a more secure and resilient future in the face of emerging threats. The new anti-drone missile system is designed to be highly effective against a wide range of drone threats, from small commercial drones to larger, more sophisticated UAVs. The missile is lightweight and compact, allowing for multiple rounds to be carried and fired from the Sky Ranger 30 turret. This development is expected to provide a significant boost to the turret's operational flexibility and effectiveness. The collaboration between MBDA and Rheinmetall is also expected to lead to further innovations in the field of counter-drone technology, with potential applications in both military and civilian sectors. As we stand on the brink of a new era in defense technology, the importance of adaptability and innovation cannot be overstated. The advancements in counter-drone systems not only promise to enhance national security, but also pave the way for safer skies in civilian airspaces. The success of the Sky Ranger 30 turret's new missile system could inspire a wave of technological breakthroughs, leading to more robust and versatile defense mechanisms.
In the coming years we can expect to see a surge in research and development focused on counter-drone measures, driven by the rapid evolution of drone technology. This relentless pursuit of innovation will be crucial in addressing the myriad challenges posed by modern UAVs ensuring that defense systems remain one step ahead. The future of counter-drone defense is not just about neutralizing threats, it's about creating a safer, more secure world for all. As we continue to explore the potential of these groundbreaking technologies, one thing is clear. The collaboration between industry leaders like MBDA and Rheinmetall is just the beginning. Together, they are setting the stage for a new chapter in defense, where the skies are protected and the safety of nations is fortified by the cutting-edge advancements in counter-drone technology. The Russian military has recently deployed the 2S-43 Malva self-propelled howitzer to the Kharkiv offensive. This advanced artillery system is designed to provide superior firepower and mobility on the battlefield. The 2S-43 Malva is equipped with a 152mm gun and is mounted on a wheeled chassis, offering enhanced speed and maneuverability compared to traditional tracked vehicles. The deployment of this system marks a significant escalation in the conflict, as it allows Russian forces to deliver precise and powerful strikes against Ukrainian positions. The Malva's advanced targeting systems and rapid-fire capabilities make it a formidable asset in the ongoing offensive. Analysts suggest that the introduction of the 2S-43 Malva could shift the balance of power in the region, potentially leading to increased casualties and further destabilization. The international community is closely monitoring the situation, with concerns about the potential for wider regional conflict. This development underscores the ever-present tension and the rapidly evolving nature of modern warfare. The 2S-43 Malva's deployment not only highlights the advancements in military technology, but also raises critical questions about the future of international security and stability. As nations continue to innovate and enhance their military capabilities, the stakes of global conflicts become ever higher. The situation in Kharkiv serves as a stark reminder of the volatile nature of geopolitical struggles and the profound impact of technological advancements on the battlefield. As the world watches closely, the actions taken today will undoubtedly shape the future of international relations and defense strategies. The deployment of the 2S-43 Malva is a clear signal of the lengths to which nations will go to secure their interests and the critical importance of preparedness and vigilance in an increasingly uncertain world. The deployment of the 2S-43 Malva to the Kharkiv Offensive has significant implications for both the tactical and strategic landscape of the conflict. Tactically, the Malva's mobility and firepower provide Russian forces with a distinct advantage in terms of artillery support. The system's ability to quickly reposition and deliver sustained fire makes it a critical component in offensive operations. Strategically, the introduction of the Malva signals Russia's commitment to leveraging advanced military technology to achieve its objectives. This move is likely to prompt a response from Ukraine and its allies, potentially leading to an arms race in the region. The international community is concerned about the escalation of hostilities and the potential for a broader conflict. Diplomatic efforts are underway to address the situation, but the deployment of the 2S-43 Malva underscores the challenges of achieving a peaceful resolution. As the conflict continues, the role of advanced weaponry like the Malva will be a key factor in shaping the outcome of the Kharkiv Offensive and the broader geopolitical dynamics in Eastern Europe. The European joint venture KNDS, comprising Nexter and KMW, is advancing its tests on a new 140mm gun. This gun is a potential candidate for the main ground combat system, MGCS, a future tank program aimed at replacing the Leopard 2 and Leclerc tanks. The tests are being conducted to evaluate the gun's performance, including its firing capabilities, accuracy, and integration with advanced fire control systems. 
The MGCS program is a collaborative effort between Germany and France, with the goal of enhancing their armored capabilities and maintaining a technological edge on the battlefield. The 140mm gun is expected to offer superior firepower compared to current tank armaments, providing a significant advantage in future conflicts. Ongoing tests are crucial for determining the feasibility and effectiveness of this new weapon system, which could play a pivotal role in the future of European armored warfare. As KNDS continues its rigorous evaluations, the defense landscape in Europe stands on the brink of a transformative leap in military technology. The successful development and integration of the 140mm gun by KNDS could revolutionize the capabilities of European armored forces. This new weapon system promises to deliver enhanced firepower, greater range, and improved accuracy, making it a formidable asset on the battlefield. The MGCS program, with the 140mm gun at its core, represents a significant step forward in the modernization of European military capabilities. The collaboration between Germany and France on this project underscores the importance of joint efforts in defense innovation. As the tests progress, the results will provide valuable insights into the potential of the 140mm gun and its suitability for future combat scenarios. The MGCS program aims to ensure that European forces remain at the forefront of armored warfare technology, capable of addressing emerging threats and maintaining a strategic advantage. The continued success of these tests will be a key factor in shaping the future of European defense and the role of advanced armored systems in maintaining security and stability. With every successful test, the vision of a more secure and technologically advanced Europe comes closer to reality. As the world watches, the stakes are high and the potential rewards even higher. The future of armored warfare is being forged in these tests, heralding a new era of military innovation and collaboration. As we've explored throughout this video, the advancements and innovations in defense technology are not just about enhancing military capabilities, they represent a collective effort towards securing a safer future for all. From the potential East Coast Missile Defense Shield to the cutting-edge 140mm gun developed by KNDS, each topic reflects a crucial aspect of our global security landscape. While the technological marvels and strategic collaborations are impressive, it's important to remember the human element behind these developments. The engineers, scientists, and military personnel dedicating their expertise and passion to these projects are working towards a common goal, a more secure and stable world. However, these advancements also come with their own set of challenges and ethical considerations. As we move forward, it's crucial for us to engage in informed discussions about the implications of these technologies. Your voice matters in shaping the future of defense and security. Paul, you found this video insightful. Please don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment with your thoughts. We value your feedback and look forward to hearing your perspectives. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest in defense technology and global security trends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more in-depth analysis and discussions on the innovations shaping our world. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.